What's going on, y'all? I want to give you my review of the Chandler Limited TG Opto Compressor. This is a double wide 500 series compressor and it can be seen as the little brother of the TG microphone cassette channel strip. So this compressor continues the collaboration between Abbey Rhodes and Chandler Limited. This compressor is based off the TG12413 compressor out of the TG12345 console in Abbey Rhodes. So I really don't care about the Abbey Road side of it, to be honest with you. I'm a huge fan of Chandler Limited products and I love Opto compressors. So that's why I purchased this compressor. Let's take a look at the front panel. So looking at the front panel, we've got a very easy to use compressor. You've got input, output, attack, release. There's no threshold. So the harder you drive the input, the more compression you'll get. And you have a choice between two knees. Rounded is a soft knee and sharp is a hard knee and you've got your compressor in and out. And when the compressor is bypassed, uh, there is no gain reduction showing on the VU meter. All right, let's take a listen to some examples. So we'll start with vocals. I've got a vocal here from Talisha Holmes and we'll start with the TG Opto bypass. So we'll just listen to the vocal without any compression and then we'll bring the compression in starting with the rounded knee. There's nothing like you and I, baby, baby. This is no ordinary love, no ordinary love. And now let's bring in the TG Opto, and we're using the rounded knee. There's nothing like you and I, baby, baby. This is no ordinary love, no ordinary love. So that's with the slowish attack and about medium release. Let's give it a longer release, which is going to give us some more compression and a little bit faster attack. There's nothing like you and I, baby, baby. This is no ordinary love, no ordinary love. And now we're going to switch to the sharp knee and we'll bring the we'll do a medium attack and release there's nothing like you and i baby baby this is no ordinary love no ordinary So we can definitely hear the compression more on the sharp knee. Now let's move on to another example. So for this example, we've got a bass guitar and we'll start with the TG Opto bypassed. <laughs> Okay, so now let's bring the TG Opto in and we'll see how it handles this bass guitar. Definitely hearing some uh, unevenness in it, so we'll see if it smooths it out. <laughs> Okay, so definitely smoothed out the bass here. Let's try it in sharp knee. Okay, uh, let's try 
little faster attack, faster release, and we'll go back to round it. Okay, let's move on to another example. Okay, so we've got some drums here, and we'll start with the TG Opto Bypass. Okay, so got just about a medium attack and release here. We're going to start with the rounded knee. I'm going to play it again bypassed, and then as it's playing, I'm going to bring in the TG Opto. Okay, now let's switch to the sharp knee, and we'll keep a slower attack and faster release. And I'm going to bypass it and bring it in. So let's discuss these examples starting with the vocal. So the TG Opto definitely did a good job of controlling the dynamics in the vocal. I could hear the compression once we got to round 10 dB, and I'm talking about the uh, round on the rounded knee. And it also made the vocal sound bigger and more in your face. On the bass guitar, it did a great job at leveling it, and also feel like it gave the bass guitar some attitude. And on the drums, made them more punchy and again just giving it some attitude and more life on the drums so overall my thoughts on the tg opto so this is an opto compressor but it definitely doesn't sound and behave as an opto compressor that you would think if you're used to thinking la2a style when you think or hear the word opto this is definitely not that type of compressor I really like the color and the character that this adds. I do find that it's a little bit aggressive, so it wouldn't be my first choice for maybe something like vocals all the time just because I can hear that compression and it is more of an aggressive type compressor. On like bass guitar, on electric guitar, drums, I really like the color and character that it's adding. And of these three examples, my favorite was the bass guitar. Also, I wouldn't call this a set and forget compressor. It definitely takes some time to dial in and get it just right. And, you know, like I'm hearing that compression on the vocal, I would just have to take a little more time to really sit and dial it in or just switch to another compressor for that. So, you know, overall, love the color and character here. Lastly, a wet and dry knob uh, would have been nice, especially on something like drums. And I do wish that I could run signal through here without compressing just to get the color and character from the unit. That would have been a nice feature as well. 
So there's my review on the TG Opto from Chandler Limited. You can find out more at ChandlerLimited.com. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, the pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.